Welcome to Cantho, Vietnam, a city that's the heart of the Mekong Delta, where tradition meets adventure. In this video, I'm going to take you through 15 unmissable things to do here, from bustling, floating markets to tranquil countryside escapes. Whether you're a first-time visitor or a seasoned traveler, this guide will help you discover Cantho like a local. Stick around to the end because I've got a bonus tip that most tourists miss. Let's dive in. 1. Thai Rang Floating Market Our first stop is the Kai Rang Floating Market, the largest and most famous floating market in the Mekong Delta. Imagine dozens of boats crammed with fresh fruits, vegetables, and even hot noodle soup, all floating on the calm waters of the Cantho River. The best time to visit is early in the morning, around 5.30 a.m. when the market is at its liveliest. Here's a pro tip. Hire a small boat and get up close to the action. This way you can interact with the vendors and even taste some fresh pineapple right off the boat. Don't forget to bring your camera. The morning light creates perfect photo opportunities. While it's a tourist attraction, Kai Rang is still a working market, so you'll get a genuine feel for local life here. Two, Ninh Kiu Wharf. Next up, let's head to Ninh Kiu Wharf, the iconic riverside promenade that's the beating heart of Cantho. By day, it's a picturesque spot where you can watch boats cruise by on the Hao River. But it's in the evening when Ninh Kiu truly comes alive. As the sun sets, the area lights up with vibrant lanterns, and street vendors set up stalls selling everything from local snacks to souvenirs. Here's a little insider advice. Take a stroll along the pedestrian bridge that connects the wharf to Kai Kei Islet. It's a perfect spot for panoramic views of the river and the city skyline. If you're up for it, hop on a river cruise. These cruises are inexpensive and offer a different perspective of the city, especially under the night sky. 3. Binh Thuy Ancient House If you're a history buff or an architecture enthusiast, Binh Thuy Ancient House is a must visit. Built in 1870, this well-preserved house is a beautiful example of French colonial architecture fused with traditional Vietnamese design. Walking through its ornate hallways, you'll find yourself transported back in time. The house is still owned by the Duong family and they've done an incredible job of maintaining it. Pay attention to the intricate woodwork and the collection of antique furniture and ceramics. There's also a lush garden filled with tropical plants, making it a peaceful retreat from the city's hustle and bustle. A fun fact, this house was featured in the famous French film, The Lover, so it's a little piece of cinematic history too. Take your time exploring every nook and cranny. This place is a true hidden gem. For Ong Temple. Let's now explore the spiritual side of Cantho with a visit to Ong Temple. This temple dedicated to the Chinese deity Quan Kong is a stunning example of Chinese Vietnamese culture. Located right on Ninh Kiu Wharf, it's hard to miss the vibrant facade adorned with dragon statues and intricate carvings. As you step inside, you'll be greeted by the fragrant smell of incense and the sight of worshippers offering prayers. The temple's interior is just as captivating, with gilded altars and lanterns casting a warm glow. Here's something unique. Look up at the ceiling, and you'll see dozens of incense coils hanging from above. Each coil represents a prayer that will burn for several days. Even if you're not religious, the peaceful atmosphere and beautiful architecture make Ong Temple a worthwhile stop. Respect the local customs, and remember to dress modestly when visiting. 5. Kentho Museum To dive deeper into the rich history and culture of the Mekong Delta, head over to the Kentho Museum. This is the largest museum in the Delta, and it offers an extensive collection of artifacts that tell the story of the region's past, from ancient times to the modern day. You'll find everything here from traditional clothing and farming tools to relics from the French colonial period. The museum does an excellent job of showcasing the diverse ethnic groups that call the Mekong Delta home, including the Khmer, Hoa, and Kin people. One of my favorite exhibits is the recreation of a traditional Mekong Delta house, complete with all the everyday items that local families would have used. It gives you a real sense of what life was like here decades ago. The museum is well laid out, making it easy to navigate, and it's a great way to spend a couple of hours learning about the region. 6. Ban Zio, Best Local Food Experience No trip to Cantho is complete without indulging in the local cuisine, and there's no better place to start than with Ban Zio. 
These savory Vietnamese pancakes are crispy on the outside and filled with a delicious mix of shrimp, pork, bean sprouts, and green onions. One of the best places to try Bon Zio is at a small, family-run eatery. When you sit down, you'll often see the cook preparing the pancakes right in front of you, using a large sizzling pan. The secret to a great Banaseo is in the batter, which is made from rice flour and coconut milk, giving it a light and crispy texture. To eat Banaseo like a local, tear off a piece of the pancake, wrap it in fresh lettuce leaves, along with herbs like mint and basil, and dip it in a tangy fish sauce. The combination of flavors and textures is simply unforgettable. Don't miss this culinary experience. 7. Phong Dien Floating Market While Kai Rang gets all the attention, Phong Dien Floating Market is where you'll find a more authentic and laid-back experience. Located about 20 kilometers from Cantho City Center, Phong Dien is smaller and less crowded, making it ideal if you're looking to escape the touristy vibe. Here you'll see mostly small boats paddled by hand, filled with fresh produce, local crafts, and even live chickens. The sellers are often local farmers, and they're more than happy to chat with you, even if there's a language barrier. This is where you can witness the daily life of the locals without the hustle and bustle. To get the most out of your visit, arrive early, around 6-1 a.m. Unlike Kai Rang, this market starts to wind down by mid-morning. And since it's less commercialized, don't expect souvenir stalls here. It's all about the local experience. If you're into photography, this is the perfect spot to capture some genuine moments. 8. Taedu Night Market As the sun sets, it's time to explore Taedu Night Market, a vibrant hub of activity that's a favorite among both locals and visitors. This market is the place to go if you want to experience the lively night culture of Kantho. From clothing and accessories to fresh produce and street food, Taedu has a bit of everything. One of the highlights here is the street food. You'll find everything from grilled meats on skewers to exotic fruits and sweet treats. Don't be afraid to try something new. This is a great place to sample local delicacies that you won't find in restaurants. Here's a tip. Bargaining is part of the culture, so feel free to haggle for a better price. Just remember to keep it friendly and fun. Even if you're not planning to buy anything, the market is a great place to soak up the atmosphere. People watch and enjoy the local scene. Nine. Mekong Delta Day Tours For a true Mekong Delta experience, consider taking a day tour that explores the surrounding waterways and countryside. These tours often include boat rides through narrow canals, visits to local villages, and stops at family-run workshops where you can see traditional crafts being made. One of the best parts of these tours is the opportunity to see life in the Mekong Delta up close. You'll visit local homes, taste fresh fruit straight from the orchards, and even learn how coconut candy is made. Many tours also include a traditional Vietnamese lunch, giving you a taste of the local cuisine in a picturesque setting. If you're an adventurous traveler, look for tours that offer cycling options. Biking through the countryside is a fantastic way to explore the area at your own pace, with plenty of opportunities to stop and interact with the locals. Just make sure to book with a reputable tour operator to ensure a safe and enjoyable experience. 10. Cycling Tours Speaking of cycling, Ken Tho is an excellent base for exploring the Mekong Delta on two wheels. The flat terrain and scenic routes make it perfect for both casual cyclists and serious bikers. Renting a bicycle is easy, and many guest houses and hotels offer them for a small fee. One of the most popular routes takes you through lush rice paddies, fruit orchards, and charming rural villages. Along the way, you'll cross small bridges over peaceful canals, giving you a real sense of the Delta's landscape. The best part? The friendly locals. Don't be surprised if you're invited into someone's home for a cup of tea or a taste of freshly picked fruit. Here's a pro tip. Start your ride early in the morning to avoid the midday heat and bring plenty of water. Whether you opt for a guided tour or explore on your own, cycling is a fantastic way to see a side of Cantho that many tourists miss. 11. Cultural Performances To truly appreciate the cultural richness of Cantho, I recommend attending a traditional music and dance performance. These shows, often held in cultural centers or as part of river cruises, showcase the art forms that have been passed down through generations in the Mekong Delta. One of the most popular forms of traditional music in the region is John Katai Tu, 
which is recognized by UNESCO as an intangible cultural heritage. This music is deeply emotional, with lyrics that reflect the joys and sorrows of life in the Delta. Accompanied by traditional instruments like the John Bao and John Tran, it's a moving experience that offers a glimpse into the soul of the region. If you're lucky, you might catch a performance of traditional Vietnamese dances, which often tell stories from folklore or daily life. These performances are a great way to end a day of exploring, providing insight into the cultural heritage of Cantha. 12 River Cruises. Another unforgettable way to experience Cantho is by taking a river cruise along the Mekong Delta. Whether you opt for a luxury cruise or a simple boat ride, this is an opportunity to see the Delta from a completely different perspective. Many cruises offer a mix of sightseeing and relaxation, with stops at floating markets, traditional villages, and even local temples. Some of the more upscale options include meals on board, where you can enjoy delicious Vietnamese cuisine while taking in the sunset over the river. For those looking for a more intimate experience, there are also smaller private boat tours available. These allow you to customize your itinerary and explore the hidden corners of the Delta at your own pace. Remember to bring a good camera. Sunsets on the Mekong Delta are absolutely breathtaking and a perfect way to capture the serenity of this unique landscape. 13. Visit local pagodas. Cantho is home to several beautiful pagodas that offer a peaceful escape from the city's hustle and bustle. Each pagoda has its own unique charm and history, making them well worth a visit. One of the most notable is the Munarang Jiaram Pagoda, a stunning Khmer temple that stands out with its golden spires and intricate carvings. The pagoda is an important cultural and religious site for the Khmer community in Cantho, and visitors are welcome to explore the grounds and observe the daily rituals of the monks. Another must-visit is the Pitu Kosa Rangsai Pagoda, which is located right in the heart of the city. It's less touristy than other sites, giving you a more authentic experience. The pagoda's tranquil atmosphere and beautiful architecture make it a perfect spot for reflection and relaxation. When visiting pagodas, remember to dress modestly and be respectful of the religious practices you may encounter. 14. Riverside Walks Sometimes the simplest experiences are the most memorable. Taking a walk along the riverside in Cantho is one of those moments where you can truly soak in the atmosphere of the city. The promenade stretches along the Hao River, offering stunning views of the water and the surrounding skyline. In the early morning, you'll see locals out for their daily exercise, practicing Tai Chi or jogging along the paths. It's a great time to join in or just observe the daily rhythms of life in Cantho. As the day progresses, the area becomes busier with street vendors, setting up shop and tourists heading out on boat tours. In the evening, the riverside transforms into a lively social scene. The cool breeze from the river makes it a perfect place to unwind after a day of sightseeing. Whether you're looking to mingle with the locals or just enjoy a quiet moment by the water, a riverside walk is a must do. 15 bonus tip visit a local farm or hidden cafe. And now, as promised, here's a bonus tip that will take your Cantho experience to the next level. For a truly unique and off the beaten path experience, consider visiting a local farm or discovering a hidden cafe with a view. Many local farms in the outskirts of Cantho offer tours where you can learn about traditional farming methods and even participate in activities like harvesting fruit or planting rice. It's a great way to connect with the land and the people who depend on it. Plus, you'll often be treated to a home-cooked meal featuring ingredients straight from the farm. Alternatively, seek out one of Cantho's hidden cafes. These spots are often tucked away in quiet corners of the city or along the riverside, offering stunning views and a relaxing atmosphere. Whether you're sipping on Vietnamese coffee or enjoying a refreshing smoothie, these cafes provide a perfect retreat from the more touristy areas. This is where you can truly unwind and soak in the beauty of the Mekong Delta. That's it for our ultimate guide to the 15 unmissable things to do in Cantho, Vietnam. I hope this video helps you make the most of your trip to this incredible city. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more travel tips and guides. And as always, check the links in the description for more details and resources to help you plan your adventure. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.